Nikki, whether those cars are going missing from parking lots or from right in front of people's homes, police say that they are seeing a disturbing uptick and a change really in the type of suspect and their motive. Flowers and photos are all that remain of the horror that unfolded in downtown Woodland Saturday afternoon. One car crashed into two others, sparking a fire and killing Tina Vidal, injuring 10 others, including a four-year-old. Woodland police say the cause of the chaos? A 13-year-old driving a stolen car. They haven't determined what possessed the teen to do it. It's becoming such a problem that we had to come out and say something about it. But Sacramento Sheriff's investigators feel the circumstances sound very familiar. We're getting one to two arrests a night for juveniles in these stolen cars. Sergeant Amar Gandhi with the Sacramento Sheriff's Office says their agency has been dealing with a sharp increase in kids stealing cars. It's after 10 p.m. and it's juveniles almost exclusively. In the viral TikToks of how easy it is to steal a Kia or Hyundai. They believe they're getting the inspiration right under their parents' noses. Specifically, TikTok videos exploiting security gaps in Kias and Hyundais. The trend appears to have swept the nation. This was September in Oklahoma City. She said the way his window was cut out and laying on the ground was exactly like the tutorial and how they broke into the steering column and everything. In Buffalo, four October deaths are suspected of being linked to the social media stunt. Four passengers passed away. Two others were injured and survived, including the 16-year-old driver. And just a month ago in West Sacramento. A neighbor's surveillance video shows five teens who police say not only stole her Hyundai, but five other Hyundai or Kia cars that same night. Another day prior to that was eight cars. So earlier this year, it was actually uh, Woodland Police that were said they were dealing with also a similar trend with the car thefts related to the TikTok videos. But when it comes to the specific Woodland crash, they say they have not determined a motive. And it's important to note that while this TikTok trend has to do with Kias and Hyundais, the car being driven in the Woodland crash was actually a Honda, so neither of those cars. Nevertheless, the Sheriff's Office says that horrible situation in Woodland is a reminder of just how serious it can be when a child who is not licensed is behind the wheel of a car. Reporting from Sacramento, I'm Karma Dickerson, Fox 40 News.